Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We've got a great little feature for you today. We've got a little video accordion here and we've got that video auto playing. There's not much going on, on the screen. I can see a little mouse moving there at the moment. And if we go to our little next accordion module there, we've got another little auto play video and similar for the third one there. I've got mine muted as well as auto playing because I find if I visit a web page and they've got a video or some music playing, sometimes it can, it can put me off a little bit. But of course, people can click on it. They can turn the sound up if they want to. Use contact form 7, which is free. And of course, they can make it full screen if they want to or view it on YouTube. Simply type contact so let's form escape. In the search bar. And I'll remute this and I'll show you how to do this. Really easy to do. There's no extra plugins involved in this today. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. OK, and once loaded, I'm going to go down. I've got a section here, the blue tab with a row, the green tab right there. And I've got a couple of modules in each. I'm going to simply delete our accordion module we got here and we'll start from scratch. OK, well, let's add a new module, a little dark button to add a module. Divi comes as standard with all these modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. If you have WooCommerce installed, it'll also give you a dozen extra to display your products. I'm going to use the Divi Accordion module here today. Just simply left click on it and it'll put it in there. It's already put a little two little accordion items in there for us. I'm going to go ahead and delete that second one. and I'm going to work on the first one here. So I'm going to go into the first one, a little cog right there. Put your title here. Or whatever you want to put. Obviously, that's not very descriptive. If this was building for real, I'd probably put a much more descriptive title on that video. But that's entirely up to you. Now in the content, this is where we're going to embed our video. Now I don't want any, anything actually there, so I'm simply going to delete that. Now the important part here is to go over to the text tab. Make sure we go over to the text tab. There we go. Now we're going to grab an embed code from YouTube. For anybody that doesn't know how to embed a video from YouTube, simply go to the video that you want to embed. I've got one up here. Just below it, you'll find a share button. Hit the share button. That'll pop up this box and you've got a little button there that says embed. Simply click on that button and it'll give you the embed code. You can set it to start at a specific point if you want to. You can turn off player controls if you want to. But as we're gonna add a mute code to have this mute and auto play, I'd recommend leaving the player controls so that they can turn the volume up and stop and start the video as needed. So let's copy this. You can either select it and copy or just hit the copy button down at the bottom. And it's just told me at the bottom there that link has been copied to my clipboard. Great. So we can get rid of this now and go back to our little accordion right here. I'm simply going to paste my code into the accordion here on the text tab. Make sure you're on the text and not the visual. There we have it. And we've got our video in there. Now, as I mentioned earlier, and as you could see in my example before, if you want them just to stay there and manually people to click on them, you're good to go. I want mine to auto play, and I will also want them to be muted so they don't annoy people. So if we look at this code up here, here's the actual URL of our video there in between these two inverted commas right there. Right at the end of the last digit and before the inverted commas, for autoplay, I'm going to put a question mark. Autoplay equals one. And as you can see, that video started to play. But I don't want the sound because that can put people off a little bit. So I'm going to say ampersand. Let me just pause this so I'm not talking over the top of myself again. So just after the autoplay one, I want to mute this. So right after the one, there and before the little inverted comma. I'm going to put the and sign, ampersand. I'm going to say mute equals one. 
And as you can see, our video is now on autoplay, but there's no sound. That works better for me. Um, whether you want to do that, that's entirely up to you or not. If we roll on down below, you can add a link if you want to take people to somewhere where they click on the actual module itself. I'm going to leave mine blank. I don't want a link. They can go to the YouTube video if they want to. You can add a background if you want to down below. I'm happy with mine. Now there's an icon when you close the toggle that will allow you to open it. You can choose a color to make it up here. Just for argument's sake, I'm going to put perhaps an arrow in as the toggle. You can't see it. We haven't got one up there in a minute, but when I add another one and close it, you'll see it. I'm going to make my icon white. Now you've got a choice of open toggle background color and closed toggle background color. So when it's open like this, I'm going to leave it as it is at white. When it's closed, I'm going to make it blue in the background. And again, you won't see it because we haven't got this closed at the moment. The text, I'm pretty much happy with the text. I'm going to put that title over in the middle though. And I'm happy with the color. I might make it a little bolder, semi-bold or something like that. And Divi, as if you've seen any of my other videos before, you'll know that Divi has a huge amount of fonts. They have absolutely crazy amount of fonts. If you want to audition one, simply roll over it and it'll show you an example of it. I'm going to leave mine on the default today. But I will pop it into the middle with the alignment right there. Great. I'm not going to change any letter spacing and I'm not going to put any text shadow or anything. Close title text. Well, I've given it, when it's closed, I've given it a blue background, so I want to make sure that that's white so it'll stand out on it, on the blue background. And this will all become apparent when I add another module in a minute. And you can add text shadow and things like that. I'm happy with mine just to be like that. Spacing wise, I don't want any gaps between my accordions. So what I'll do here, let's save this. There's our first accordion. Just so you can see what's going on, I'm going to hit the clone button here. And as you can see, there's one with a closed and there's the icon that we gave it. And there's a gap between the two. Personally, I don't want a gap between these two. So to get rid of the gap between those two, we'll go into that first video right there. Over to design and spacing. And in margin, not padding, padding will, will take away anything inside. In margin, I'm going to put zero top, hit the chain and zero bottom. And that buffers that one up against it so there's no gap. That works for me. And I'm also going to give it a white border all round. You won't see it when it's open, but when it's closed, you'll see it around the blue. So let's go there. Border width, one pixel's fine. I'm just going to change mine to white. Great. Well, I'm pretty happy with that first one right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'll save this. I'll take us back to our main accordion. Let's delete that one that we had there. Because all the settings are right for this one now. And instead of creating another one from scratch, I'm just going to clone this a couple of times. As you can see, they're down below right there. There's that little white border I was talking about. Okay, video one's good. Video two, we want to put a different video in there, obviously. And let's change our title. Remember, go to the text tab and let's add another video in there, a different one perhaps. I've already got some copied, so I'm not going to go over to YouTube. I've got some already here, so that should make it quite quick to do this. Great, and I'll do the same thing for the next one. I'm going to save this one back to our main accordion settings. I'm going to go into this one now, over to the text tab. I'm going to grab my next video. Paste that in there, call this video number three. Obviously your titles will be a lot more descriptive than mine. So we got three different videos there. And of course you can continue on and do more and more as needed. So if you've done everything correctly there, let's save our changes. Save the main accordion changes here. Let's go down to the purple button, expand it, save draft or publish if you're ready. Let's exit the Visual Builder. And there we have it. We've got our video auto playing, the first ones on top there. And then when people are ready, they can click the next one.
to view the next video. And then they can go down and view the next one also. And that's a great little feature to have on your site. Certainly going to get people's attention. And it's a great way of putting three videos into a small space and having them autoplay and mute. So there you go, guys. That's how to create a video accordion with autoplay and mute. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.